It's beautiful here, thought Renardo. He was thrilled to be back with his old war buddy. He missed the mad rabbit, but something was not quite right. Sweet. You could use this material to craft a spork. Or, or a sword. Bridges, anyway. make with all these sword crafting materials, thought Renato. Yeah. why heroes are called dashing, Renato thought. See? Dashing? Get it? There was something sour in the air. Yeah. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermented for a very long time. Renato felt wrong all over. He could feel an almost palpable sickness in the air. And if the land could have tumors, they would look like these monstrous crystals. The forest was quieter than it had been. There were insects, but few birds, if you didn't count the ravens. Renato smelt sick animals and dying ones, but no healthy ones. And getting a bad feeling about this, Renato thought. Maybe Lapina was right. Maybe they should have kidnapped Zenobia instead of coming here. That could come in handy in a pinch.
As he held the radiant icosahedron, Bernardo felt queasy, like dozens of tiny worms were nibbling his insides. It wasn't healthy to be so close to the eye of a god. How could he use it? He could take it to the observatory. The scientists there could tell him how to harness its ancient power. But honestly, Bernardo ached to get away from it. He brought the core back with him to the Farfarer. But honestly, Bernardo ached to be rid of it. Tell you what, said Lupino, I'll take it to the observatory. You attack the Imperial outpost. The Imperial outpost was a vital communications node. Taking it could shatter the Empire's ability to coordinate. And it would be full of secret plans and maps and maybe even rebel prisoners. It was a good target for a hero like Renardo. But what if Lupino got the core and then broke it or lost it? Or worse, was Renardo ready to take that risk? Maybe it was better if he brought the core to the scientists himself. Lupino was a touchy rabbit. Renardo knew.